Let's talk Beyonce. She is being accused of stealing another singer's style. Erica Badu recently commented on Beyonce's new Cowboy Carter artwork, showing her holding a cigar wearing beaded bangs. Erica Badu reposted the pic and wrote, hmm, suggesting Beyonce stole her look. Soon after, the Bayhive came at Erica Badu, urging her to stop hating on Beyonce. Others claimed singer Rick James did it first. Erica Badu then went on X and pleaded with Jay-Z writing, say something, Jay, you gonna let this woman and these bees do this to me? This isn't the first time Erica called out Beyonce. Erica posted a photo of Beyonce in a wide brimmed hat with the same hmm caption and then posted a pic of herself in a similar look, writing, quote, I guess I'm everybody's stylist. All right, Erica, this is the feud I did not want. I don't want well, I it. Know. I need an immediate ceasefire. Immediate. So tell I us. I mean, these two queens, Erica Badu has never been one to mince words, and she's also kind of a provocateur. Beyonce, we very seldom hear anything from, and she speaks with imagery. Now, did she steal the look from Erica? I don't know. I'm just excited anytime we see some cultural yep. representation of what black women's hair can look like. Why do you think I, Erica's I, not excited for that? I, I'm not saying that Erica's not excited for that. I'm simply saying that the more that we see it and the more that everyone sees it, it makes it easier for folks like me to be like, I'm going to wear my hair this way without anybody scrutinizing the level of whether I should be doing this or not. Now, Yvette, uh, who is Yvette Noel Schuller, who's um, Beyonce's publicist, shout out to her because that's my girl. Um, <laughs> she put a carousel <laughs> of a lot of uh, pictures of Beyonce's looks throughout the years. Now, Beyonce with braids. has done that, yes, with braids. all sorts of different things that have been, you know, it, it, does it matter who makes it? it makes it like more popular. I don't know if it matters. I, I just it think does. it matters that we see it. I, th I think it, it matters to Erica Badu and I think it's okay. I think there are people, uh, you know, that are gonna be in your field that you compete against, whether they know it or not. Somebody that you see as your equal and you wanna kind of always get the best of them. And I think Erica is looking at Beyonce's career and how relevant she is. Erica's faded to the back a little bit, even though I feel like uh, she's one, in my top five forever. But, you know, I think she feels like she's being forgotten about. And that's where these little comments are because, like you say, Erica, even when people are hating on you, at least they're paying attention to you. And that's almost well, better than being irrelevant. Real quick, can I just ask what people said? I know we talked about it earlier. The tweet is what got me really weird when she said, Jay, are you going to let this woman and the bees do it? That's what I thought was a little bit disrespectful. Yeah. Right. To, yeah. That's, so that's what I had an issue with. I didn't know if anyone Hopefully else Hopefully it was tongue in cheek. I don't yeah. know. I don't yeah. think it I was. just don't want them to be in a fight. Yeah. I don't. No, I don't. All right, let's talk about former Selling Sunset star Christine Quinn's husband. Well, he was arrested on domestic violence charges. They got married on the show back in 2019. In an elaborate ceremony, police said Christian allegedly threw a bag containing a glass bottle at Christine, but it ended up hitting their two-year-old son, oh who was then goodness. taken to the ER. Police arrested Christian outside their home in handcuffs, barefoot, and in, in just a bathrobe. Well, here's the thing. He was arrested again the next day because he violated the restraining order and showed up at the couple's home when he wasn't supposed to. Uh, a quick comment about the domestic violence, because we all know how horrific it is, but Erica, you had a really great point earlier. And then I have a, a, a different angle I want to take this conversation, but please, Erica. This is why, um, and I've said this so many times, like when people start laying their hands on people, when people become emboldened in these situations, especially in intimately, it is really important that people take this very seriously from jump because for someone to throw a bag of glass at another person, your spouse, means that there have been several things that have happened that have led up to this. So when you see something, especially very early on, don't gaslight yourself into thinking that this isn't something that is important to speak out about because it is. Yeah, well said. That's life saving. Um, I'm curious because, you know, Jeff, you've been on a reality show, Big Brother. It seems to me and I know Tori well, that's true. <laughs> no, you're right you that's I'm true kidding, kidding. and Tori has a list it seems to me that reality stars and maybe I'm wrong end up being more troublesome maybe 
is it because of the fame or maybe the way they were casted? They were casted for a reason because they're provocative and troublesome. Yeah. Would you? Oh, yeah. Say Very the quick. And then please like comment. Jen Shaw, Teresa Judice, Todd and Julie Chrisley, Abby Lee Miller, Mike Sorrentino, Erica Jane's husband, Tom. It, do their realities get mixed? Like the reality of the show and their reality? What do you think? Well, I think you lean into the character that you play on television, Or were they right? always cast I think, because they're troublemakers? Of course, there's something in there that gets them cast. Real quick, I want to go back to the story and personalize it real fast. If I did something like that, that I couldn't control my anger or whatever happened, and I threw a bottle and it hit my two-year-old son, I'd be in a hotel room crying, right. not going back to the house to break the law once again. Okay, I just want to say that. I was still thinking about that. Yeah, True. you know. Great point. So, I, but to bring it to the reality thing, I've done a lot of shows. I said multiple, just joking. But I've done a lot of shows where there were characters that were you know, at first hurt by who they were, the, the identity to the public. Like, that's not who I am. I'm like, it kind of are, is who you are, you know, and including myself. I'm like, lean into that a little bit. Jesse, this wrestler, was on. Now he's a, got a career in wrestling. You know what I mean? Bad Chad from The Bachelor. I met in, I met in an elevator one time, and he was real down about, like, his persona because he just got off the show or just aired, and he wasn't that guy, but he leaned into it. Mike Sarantino leans into it. Now he's, like, the only one to correct himself. Yeah, he's Sometimes like, no, when you yeah. start losing your name a a little bit, yeah. you might do something like this to get your name back out there. So I see characters leaning into it. Plus, I don't think they have the same publicist as celebrities that are actors do. They'd keep their name That's on so it. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah.